Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, we discussed uh, present continuous tense and how a sentence of present continuous tense is formed. We also discussed helping verbs. Under helping verbs, we had three different verbs, be, do, have. And we also came across the forms of the verbs and we did also conjugate them. In today's video, we are going to discuss present perfect tense. Present perfect. Present perfect tense. So this tense is very easy, simple to understand. First, let us know the structure of the sentence and further we shall discuss in detail. This is the formula of present perfect tense subject plus have or has plus v3 plus object i hope you remember the have verb right we can also put it this way have in the present okay since we are discussing present perfect, the have verb can only be used in the present tense. In the sense, present form of the have verb. I told you, right? Have, has, had. Have and has are present form and had is a past form. Uh, in the last video itself, I must have told you have and has no difference. And why it should be have and has. While writing examples, we shall look at that. Before that, we shall know in which are the places or how to use present perfect tense. Okay, we'll come back to this later on. So present perfect tense is used primarily to express that an action just got over. An action just got over see i tell you um, friends my definitions will keep changing see basically my idea is whenever i teach something definitions are not important you must understand the concept if you ask me to repeat the definition i'll change it for the next moment itself at the end of the day whether you have understood the concept or not because i'm not teaching you physics chemistry biology to give you exact definition. See, uh, we don't care about definitions. We need to know how to use them in our daily conversation. That's it. Okay. In order to express an action just got over. The action just got over. Let's say. I have. Eaten. An apple. Why always an apple? It sounds good. That's why. Okay. I have eaten an apple, which actually means just now. You don't have to say, I have just eaten an apple now. No. You just say, I have eaten an apple, which actually means you have eaten just now. Okay. This is one place when you can use present perfect tense. The other instance, when you want to express an action just got over and the effect of the action you still have it okay an action got over the effect of the action the result of the action still felt okay so okay an action got over and result is still there okay result or effect still there for example, Jeevan has lost his key, any key, how is a bike in? Jeevan has lost his key, which means he has lost the key, it is not found yet. 
okay the effect of this action still there he has not gotten the key yet back okay this is one place where you can use present perfect tense okay let me erase this the other instance when you use present tense is an action an action happened in an unspecified time you want to say an action got over in an unspecified time let's say i have watched this movie before okay you didn't tell when exactly this action happened you never told when exactly this action took place you just say i have watched this movie some days before some years ago okay so in that place we use present perfect tense okay another instance when you want to say an action happened repeatedly sorry for the spelling repeatedly even that is unspecified even that is unspecified an action took place many a times even that you want to make it unspecified you use present perfect tense let's say i have visited paris several times you can say two times three times five times several times which actually means even this is unspecified you do not say how many times you did visit which actually means you do not know how many times you visited so you use present perfect tense saying i have seen this many a times okay people yeah, generally you get to see teachers tell you i have seen thousands of students like you people <laughs> and specified your teachers generally your uh, english teachers or math teachers i have no i have seen so many students like you yeah which is unspecified so an action happened repeatedly in the past which is unspecified so these are the places these are the instances when you can use present perfect tense shall we recall it first thing is an action just got over an action took place just before some time in the second place in the in the second instance an action got over but the effect of the action still felt an action an action got over the effect of the action still you feel in the third third instance an action happened in an unspecified time you do not know when exactly it happened and the fourth instance an action that happened repeatedly many a times even that is unspecified okay these are the places you can use present perfect tense okay here nothing is specific keep that in your mind clearly you can use several times many a times so many times okay oh. these you can use but you cannot use exactly i have visited this palace on wednesday this is wrong this is wrong 
So you can for, for that you can directly go to simple past. When we deal with past tense, we shall go through. So you don't make it anything specific. So when you want to say an action that happened unspecific time, you use present perfect tense. Let us go to an example. Let us go to the examples. Okay. Let us construct sentences. Let's see. Okay. Of course, we have our personal pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, they, we. So the, the formula is subject plus have or has plus V3 plus object. Okay, so subject is hard here. Let us add the helping verb. I have, you have, he, she, it has. So here comes this has. The has has to be placed here because this third person singular, the present tense are always special ones. Because in the simple present tense, we have, we have added an extra yes for the main verb. Here, instead of using have and ha uh, instead of using have, we are using we are using has only for third person singular. In the present perfect only. In the present perfect only. During the past we will tell you. Okay. So they have. We have. Now we have to go to the verb. Main verb. This is helping verb. You know. Let us take one particular verb. Of course. Let us take the verb love. The conjugation of the verb. Love. Loved. Loved. Loving. So this is a regular verb. Okay. Every time you pronounce the word V, V, you must bite your lower lip. Okay, you must bite your lower lip. This is that is the correct pronunciation. Okay. V. Don't say V. V. Okay. So love. I have. We need to use Past participle. I have loved. Again, English. Just a sentence. Most of you do not agree. With, uh, most of you do not agree with this sentence. I can understand. You have loved English. Full stop. He, she, it has loved English. English. They have, sorry, they have loved English. Sorry for the spelling. And we have loved English. Stop. So simple. Subject plus have or has plus V3 plus object is present perfect tense. I told you four instances. Keep them in mind. And think about this when you have third person singular as the subject in simple as sorry in present perfect tense, make sure you use has. Please, lot of you, lot of you make this mistake. Please, hereafter, be mindful when you have third person singular. I tell you, third person singular is any name of a person, any name of a person, a man. A girl or anything single one. Okay, Charles falls under this. Okay, any name of a girl falls under this. Anything single thing falls under this. So they are all third person singular. So make sure you use has for present perfect only. Okay, present perfect only. And of course the verb follows the same. An object we have. Okay, I hope this video is. Uh, uh, very specific about present perfect tense. Okay. Thank you for all the support you have been uh, giving to me. And all the love you have been showering upon me. Thank you once again. Please do like, 
subscribe and share my videos. I'm definitely sure it is worth sharing. Thank you very much. We shall meet in the next video. Thank you.